Is it just me or have I already shown you dozens of cool transitions over the past few months? I hope you're not tired of them yet because in this video I'll show you five more cool and unique transitions in the Movavi video editor which will be super easy to do of course. So fire up your video editors, get comfortable let's go the first transition for today is great for dynamic moments let's say we need to somehow connect a video of a running person with one of someone on a bike how to do it using a standard transition won't look good that's why i suggest adding an extra video between them let me show you i will just open the video editor and import all files i will then drag the first video the second video and the extra video to the timeline yes the extra video i couldn't think of another name for it my video of the running person is by default slowed down by half so by double clicking on it i manually speed it up to normal now i will trim the first and second videos a bit to make them shorter our extra video is also in slow motion so we need to cut it into three parts two will be at regular speed one will be slow down this way our original video will switch to the extra video with a slow down piece in the middle of it the shift from the slow down video to the fast one will smooth the transition to the completely different video with a cyclist this way the transition will be smoother and more dynamic all that's left is to choose diffuse one in the transitions and drag it to the junction of the two videos then shorten its duration a bit and it's done look at the result thanks to our extra slow motion video return to normal speed and transition and feels seamless maintaining the momentum and masking the obvious stitching this transition would work best if the camera was turning a bit not just following the subject so if you're filming something and turn the camera now you know which transition to use the second transition will be a bit more traditional it's often used in movies and is called a match cut in these transitions one frame morphs into another maintaining movement and shape a clear example is 2001 a space odyssey this technique is quite artistic so use it wisely here's how to do it drag two videos onto the timeline in my case it's an aerial drone shot of a soccer field and a chalk drone soccer field on a blackboard if we just leave two videos as they are the effect will remain but be less striking and noticeable therefore move the second video onto a track above the first overlapping them then double click on the top video and slightly reduce its opacity to easily align the main elements of both videos making the transition look natural next go to more tools then crop and rotate a grid will appear in the preview window adjust and move it to align the main elements of both videos once the framing is done set the opacity back to 100 percent next place both videos on one video track open the transitions and select crossfade drag the transition between the two videos and check out the results well chosen videos make the transition logical and harmonious it's a very useful and simple effect so as you can see we've already created two interesting and easy to do transitions regardless of what anyone says these effects prove that you don't always have to make things complicated to achieve a creative result sometimes even the simplest tools can create amazing effects the movavi video editor is full of such surprises it's part of the movavi unlimited subscription that basically is a starter pack for beginner youtubers movavi unlimited is a unique annual plan that brings together the best of movavi in one intuitive platform it's not just the movavi video editor it also has tools for photo editing screen recording file conversion and a range of handy apps for working with documents on top of that movavi unlimited grants yearly unlimited access to all effect packs from the Movavi effect store. The annual subscription offers access to nine software tools and a vast collection of effects, all for the price of a single app. And the best part, even the computer with average specs will run the editor smoothly. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi unlimited plan is a deal that's too good to pass up. But if you feel like folks focusing on video and photo editing only, just give Movavi Video Suite and Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same. So don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. The third transition will be more modern. Here's the idea. One video pauses, a transition happens, and another video starts playing. To make this transition, we'll need 
three videos. Two videos between which the transition will occur and a green screen video with a pause effect. Drag the first video and the green screen video onto the timeline. The green screen video should be on a track above the first video. Go to more tools, chroma key and click the green color with the eyedropper. The video editor will automatically remove the green color leaving only what's necessary. Now find the point in the first video where it should stop and click on the camera icon to take a screenshot. Then without moving the cursor, trim the video. You can use scissors or the command B or control B shortcut. Next, import the screenshot back into the video editor and place it on the timeline. Then place the video with a pause effect at the point where the video stops. Now you can export the first half of the video. With the second video, do the same. But the pause moment should be at the beginning of the video. Once both videos are ready, move them to the timeline and in the transition section choose the push effect shorten it and watch the result i think it turned out quite unique and interesting what do you think the fourth effect for today is glitch i'm sure you already have an idea of how this will look and how to do it but perhaps my method is different from yours so forget all your notions and watch how it's done move two videos onto the timeline between which the transition will happen you could directly choose the glitch effect but then the transition will would lose its organic feel so using scissors cut the first video into three segments and the second one into two then go to the filter section and select broken lens drag this effect onto the second and third segments of the first video and the first segment of the second video next by clicking on effects adjust the effects strength 60% for the second segment of the first video and 100% for the third and 30% for the first segment of the second video now move the transitions section and drag the glitch effect to the position shorten the duration and watch the result so as you can see cutting and adding an additional effect makes the transition more expressive and logical and it looks much better this way the next transition will also be quite simple yet it's rarely used it's best suited for children's entertainment content and will be using stickers to create it i will drag two videos onto the timeline and to ensure the stickers make sense the first video will feature a girl showing two thumbs up i will repeat the screenshot trick resulting in one and a half seconds of a still frame this is where the magic will happen now i will move to the sticker section and choose any one I like. I will pick hearts, thumbs up, a flame, and so on. Each one needs to be dragged onto the timeline at the transition point. It's important that they appear randomly with different sizes and positions. The stickers should also disappear one by one. By placing the first video over the second, we can mask the transition at the moment when the screen is completely filled with stickers. There is no need to add additional transition effects. It already looks great. As promised, a simple yet effective transition. So, I've shown you five transition effects. What's next? You either do these effects exactly as I showed or apply the techniques and approach to your future transitions. As I've already said, even the simplest tools can lead to far from mundane results. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.